Hey everybody, it's Seth Jones, Editor-in-Chief of Golfdom Magazine, doing another Golfdom Zoom Views interview. Today I'm very excited to be joined by Dr. Dale Sanson. He is Senior Director of Formulation Development and Compliance Chemistry for nearby PBI Gordon. Dr. Dale, thanks for taking the time and, and joining me today. Oh, thank you, Seth. Always a pleasure to talk, uh, talk business and uh, formulation chemistry with those in the field. Look, you know, I love talking formulation chemistry. That's uh, what we do at breakfast around <laughs> here. <laughs> uh, uh, so first, I guess, tell, tell me about, uh, you have a long history with PBI Gordon, but uh, for those who don't know you, can you, you just give me an introduction of yourself, who you are and, and what you do? Sure, sure. I've uh, been with PBI uh, for, uh, I always like to say, a quarter of a century, a little longer than a quarter of a century. Been here for quite some time, seen a lot of uh, changes and a lot of progression. Um, got several uh, hats that I wear here at PBI. Um, the, the one that I'm known for in our industry is uh, the development of formulation or formulation of products that are in the uh, golf industry, uh, the turf industry. And in particular, those would be uh, fungicides, herbicides, and insecticides. Uh, that would be um, applications in the professional as well as the consumer side. Okay, fantastic. And, and what about your uh, educational background? Um, have uh, a PhD in organic analytical chemistry. Um, have done postdoctoral studies uh, at Arizona State University which was a great place to be, except in the summertime. Um, learned a, a lot more of the aspects of formulation and analytical chemistry and just sharpened my skills to uh, help me be successful in, uh, in a career in formulation science. Okay. On the golf side, uh, if, if you were to start rattling off the different uh, products you've worked on that are being used around the, around the country, wh wh where would you start? How long would that list go? Do you, you want to give me some, you want to start name dropping for me so I can know where, where, where you got, where you've been, what you've done? Well, it's rather extensive. And when somebody asks me that, I always think of the calendar year and kind of work my way through. Cause then that kind of, that the timing and the applications kind of help in terms of what, uh, what we're looking at, but Starting to go into spring, you, you know, you're getting some of those pre-emergent uh, applications. There's a lot of weed and feeds that consumers routinely put out in March, April. Uh, a lot of those would be uh, contain dithiopure or, or some of those pre-emergent combos with 2,4-D and some of the phenoxy acids. Um, and as you progress on through and looking more into the professional side, the one that PBI is known for, um, uh, which is the leader of the industry, is, is the speed zones. And typically those are applied um, in spring, early spring uh, or late fall. Um, and as you further on go down, down the road, the one that, um, uh, when other thing that PBI is recognized for, brand name rather, is the Trimec brand, um, which you've got the classic, the 992s, and then uh, when you start getting into fungicide treatments, we've got a long list of, uh, of different types of fungicides that, uh, that we've developed, uh, Union, Kabuto, Pedigree, Tekken. Um, and then starting on into the summer months, you've got Surge. Uh, then you get crabgrass post-emergent applications. You start going into Q4, um, which uh, is patented. Uh, and uh, we've been a really good product for us. And con continuing on through, there's, uh, there's quite the extensive list, but uh, for uh, brevity, I think you could look at the website and see most of those that are on our website, I've touched. You said 25 years at PBI Gordon. I'm curious, um, and I know the, you know, you, I remember when you guys were over uh, underneath the, the, was it 12th Street Bridge, and now you guys have relocated. Yeah. And, um, so what's it been like? What, what, what can you... Not, not just specifically with your job, but just as a company as a whole. What, uh, how has PBI Gordon changed over the past 25 years? Uh, when I initially started with PBI, um, we, were, we were small, uh, much smaller, of course. Um, and uh, it, the, the processes had not been solely developed. Uh, progression from concept to new product was not as lengthy and the challenges were not as great because you didn't have all the uh, uh, difficult to work with compounds like you do now, active ingredients rather. 
So it was rather informal from concept to launch on how products were developed. With the breadth uh, of the products that we offer now, going into fungicides and to the insecticide realm, we've had to become more formalized and stage gate that progress such that you know early on if there's difficulties to stop the project and redirect it. So we've become more formalized, more structured, more systematic in how we develop uh, the, the, the progress, the progression of the new products. We've also began to stop working in silos. Um, so the field folks would be evaluating products in the past. I wouldn't see that data until we regrouped until the winter. You can't develop products like that now. Um, my group, along with Dr. Marvin's field group, are intimately involved. Product development is constant. So they know if something is unstable in the lab while they're applying in the spring, we go back, retool. I go out, meet with cooperators. I see where there's some product weaknesses. I go back to the lab and modify. So it's a very, very fluid process. Same thing with manufacturing. I may have a great concept that I can make a, a leader in the, uh, in the lab, but you gotta make sure and convey the needs that that need to go into that product to make a 12,000 gallon batch. So it's a very fluid, very integrated system that we've developed uh, and that we found that that really enhances the rapid nature of getting a product to market. So a lot of collaboration, a lot of increased collaboration as well, it sounds like. And exactly, and the last, last thing I cannot forget would be um, two things, the marketing group, and they need to know the attributes and what's unique about the product. I need to be working with them and at the same time, maintain my relationship with the regulatory group to get all the data that is needed to supply their registration packet. So you can begin to see, I always like to think of, of a hub and a, and a wheel that I envision my group is kind of at the middle and we're constantly feeding information and interacting amongst everybody around that wheel. So there's no disconnect. Everybody knows what's going on and we didn't drop the ball any way, anywhere along the way to get that product to market by the target date. That's, that's fascinating. And, and for you, this is, it, this is not, by, this is very much by choice. This is a dream job about for you, isn't it? You, you told me that you were, you were eight years old when you went through the Sears catalog and pointed to a, what, 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 was, what was your dream Christmas gift at eight, eight years old? It was a Kim, Kim Craft, I'm telling my age, it was a Kim Craft chemistry set. And it was a, a big trifold and it was a metal. I mean, it was quite substantial. And my parents were good about fostering my, uh, my desire to go into science. And it happened to be chemistry. But my mother didn't like it very well when I'd unfold all that on the kitchen table and have burners and everything going and trying to mix things together that I didn't necessarily go by what was in the guidebook. It's more fun to mix things and see what happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's best to do that in the lab. I'm sure the dinner room table, dining room table wasn't, uh, wasn't the best spot for that. So um, it, it was not the best spot. <laughs> Well, well, Dr. Dale, I know a lot of your coworkers, and I've known a lot of a lot of the folks that uh, who have been influenced by what you do over the years. And it's nice to get some face time with you and to see the the man right there in the middle. So, thank you for your time today. It's been great to chat with you. Don't hang up, okay? Okay. Thank okay. you, Seth. Uh, it's my pleasure, everybody. This is Dr. Dale Sanson. He is the senior director of formulation development and compliance chemistry with PBI Gordon. I'm Seth Jones. Thanks for watching us here. Thanks, Dr. Dale, taking the time. Thanks for watching us here on Gulfton Zoom Views.